Hi, welcome back. Okay, let's look at um, chapter four, lesson one, lesson 4.1. We're on page 213. Okay, so we're going to talk about scatter plots. So basically, scatter plots compare two variables, two sets of data, and um, it's kind of scattered. The data is scattered. That's why it's called scatter plot. Okay, so um, once you graph your points, you can identify clusters, gaps, and outliers. So a cluster is a group of points that lie close together. So most of these points are close together. We would call that a cluster. A gap is where you have areas on the graph that have no data. So all of this right here, that's all gaps. And then an outlier is a point or points that are not close to the other data. They're set far away. So that would be an outlier. It's not part of the normal data. It lies outside. Okay, so now this one, this scatter plot is about how many hours of sleep someone got and their percentage, what they got on the math test. So now we call this a positive association because from left to right, generally most of these points are moving up. So the X values are increasing and the y values are increasing they're both going up so this is telling you that the more sleep people got the higher their score is the more sleep they got the higher they scored generally okay so now there I, now i'm on page 214 at the very top so there's three different types of association so the first one is a positive association so when your data is moving um, up from left to right. When most of the data is moving up from left to right, increasing. So the X values are increasing and the Y values are increasing. We call that a positive association. Okay, so now a negative association from left to right. So if you follow these dots from the left side to the right side, generally they're moving down. Well, the X values are still increasing. These still are increasing as you move left to right, but the y values are going down, so we call that a negative association. The x values are increasing, but the y values are decreasing, going down. And then no association means the x values and y values, there really isn't a pattern. They're just kind of all over the place. We can't tell if this data is going up or down. It's not positive or negative. It's just no association. Okay, so now um, I'm at the bottom of page 215. So let's actually construct a scatter plot. So let's take a look at this problem. It's um, the museum attendance, and it's the uh, month of the year, so the months of the year, and then um, number of people in the thousands. So if you take a look at the graph, so it's already labeled for you that X variable is the months of the year. So figure out how these are counting. Between 0 and 2 is 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So each line along your X axis each month is counting by uh, one month at a time. Now, your y-axis is the number of people in the thousands, so how many thousands of people? So in between zero and nine, that's four and a half. So every line in this graph is counting by four and a half, so you have to add four and a half. So that would be 13 and a half, 22 and a half, 31 and a half, 40 and a half. So you have to make sure that you look to see how they're counting. Now, folks, look, this is a coordinate plane. So these are ordered pairs. So the month of the year was our X axis and the thousands of people are the Y axis. So these are ordered pairs. These are ordered pairs. X, Y. So five, six would be an ordered pair. Five, nine. Uh, so in month five, there were 6,000 people, and, eight, and then in month five, there were 9,000 people. So we're going to graph these. When you construct them, you have to graph those points. So five, six. So we're going to go over to five and up to about where six would be. Five, nine. Over five, up to nine. Six, six. Over six, up to six. About right there. Six, 12. Over six, up to 12, which would be about there. Six, 36. Over six up to 36 right there. Seven, three, over seven, up to three. So roughly there. 10, 21, over to month 10, up to 21,000. Okay, so 10, 27, over to 10, up to 27,000. 11, 18, that's month 11, up to 18,000 people. Okay, 11.24, over to month 11, up to 24,000 people. 12.24, over to month 12, up to 24. Okay, 12.18, over to month 12, up to 18. 
and then 12, 3, over to 12, up to 3, which would be about right there. Okay, so that is constructing a scatter plot. So we did the first part, constructing a scatter plot. Now, we're going to identify any outliers. Okay, so remember, outliers don't fit with the rest of the data. So I would definitely say this is an outlier and this is an outlier. So let's name those ordered pairs. This would be 6, 36. So an outlier would be, oops, 6, 36, right? That's how you name an ordered pair. And this one would be 12, 3, 12, 3. So it's this one, 12, 3, and 6, 36, that one. Those are our two outliers. They don't fit with the rest of the data. Okay, now this says what situation might have caused an outlier. Well, this is month 12, that's December, and only about 3,000 people came to the museum. So that could be that um, since it's December, there's a there's holiday in December. Um, maybe people are um, too busy or don't have the money to go to a museum. That would explain that one. This would be month six, so that's June, and a, and a whopping 36,000 people visited. So that's June, the beginning of summer. So maybe... Um, um, kids and families are out of school, and so they decide they have a lot of time to travel. That would explain that. Okay, now we would call this a cluster and this a cluster. Okay, so it looks like most of the people um, came between these months and uh, about this many thousand people. Okay, so let's take a look at one more. So let's take a look at this um, bookstore sales. So this says identify the cluster in the scatter plot and explain what it means. Well, this is um, the price of the books that they're selling, so how many books. And then this is um, how many books sold. Okay, so now the cluster. I would definitely say this would be your cluster. Most of the points are right here. So we would say most of the books sold were between about $10 and $25, correct? And then that would be most people bought between 10 and 20 books. Okay, so that's the cluster. So most books were between 10 and $25 and most